For some assignments in Teams, you may want to record a video or audio file. Often these are too large to be able to attach to the assignment the way you would a Word document or something else. So I'm going to show you how you can submit your audiovisual files on Teams using links. I'll be using Microsoft OneDrive, but you could use any online or cloud-based service for holding your file. OK, so um, for sending a audio or video file through Teams, um, the files, audio and video files, are usually too large to be able to send in an assignment. So what you need to do first is you need to um, upload it to OneDrive. So you go to office.com and it comes up with all of your apps here. Click on the app that says OneDrive. And then click Upload, Files, and then click on the file that you want to upload. So this one's an audio file, this one's a video file. The process is actually the same either way. So, Click on the file you want to upload, click Open. And you can see up here it's uploading one item. So that'll take a moment. And now click Share Link. Click where it says send link, you want to click where it says people you can specify can view and change that to people in Surrey School District with the link. And then click apply. And then you can copy the link. You don't need to put in an email address. So once you've got that link, you go to your assignment in Teams, click on it, click add work. and click here where it says link. And then you can just paste the link in. Type the name of it or the name of the assignment uh, in there and click attach. This works for any link. Uh, if you have a video and you've uploaded it to YouTube because you have a YouTube channel, you can click on the uh, share button there and paste the link in. Any link works here. So I've got here, you can see I've got that link added. I'm going to click turn in. And now my teacher will be able to go in and click on the link and it will uh, bring her to the file in my OneDrive and she'll be able to watch or listen to the file that I have created. If you already have a file in OneNote, um, you've already uploaded it, then you can actually, from OneNote, scroll and find the file. So it's the same file. And then click this little button here. That means to share. Again, you want to make sure that you have a link that people in Surrey School District with this link can see it. Click Apply, copy the link, and then just like we did, um, add work, link, and paste, and put the title of this. Okay, I'm not going to actually attach that because it's the exact same link. So that is a fairly easy way to make sure that you can share your audio or video files with your teacher.